welcome back to the GSL Code S. But we were like, wow. in that, oh, you see that camera shot there? That was like the uh, on in the battlefield camera. That guy was falling down a flight of stairs or something tasteless. I don't know what happened Pretty there. rough. So we're going to have an old school Zerg legend against a new school Zerg legend. July Zerg, the God of War, against the Barnell Zerg, Lucira. I like Sweatshop Zerg better. No, my nicknames are actually the best. Oh, they are. They're the best. They are. I didn't ask for these powers. But as they say in Spider-Man, those hey, did you beg great for powers. Me. I gave them to you, and I regretted it every no, day No, I wasn't. Since. I was bitten by a radioactive nerd, and that's how I got these powers, all right? You are not radioactive. You're a warlock nerd. I'm definitely radioactive. Okay. <laughs> mm. okay. Uh, the map will be Antigua Shipyard, and it, all, it is all going to come down to this. One of these guys will just have to wait until next season. The other, his journey will continue as he moves further in the bracket here at the GSL Codex. July Zerg up against Luzira. Our mirror matchup, Zerg versus Zerg. Let's let these two legends show us how to do it. And we're off. In the upper right starting location, we have the God of War. July. July. There he is. Ah, that's actually him. Couldn't tell the two apart. <laughs> Similarity is uncanny. Meanwhile, in the bottom right, No, he is Lucera. There no. he is. He is Lucera. This is like the ending of a Metal Gear Solid game. I'm like, wait, who's who? Wait, what's going on? Like, so by the way, we do have a ten goal by July Zerg. It's a uh, very, very good build. Pretty standard. He wants to do some damage magic. early on. Yeah. Um, one thing I do want to point out, Tasteless, is you know how you open up with, and we're off. Yeah. You know what's really weird? It's like a race you can say or either and we're off or and we're on, and they both work perfectly. Yeah, isn't scenario. that cool? The English language is so interesting. Like that. Yeah, it's really weird. It's say and we're off, like it's a horse race or it something. It doesn't even matter. It's say and we're on, like the game has now started. Well, we do have Zerglings being made. Lucier going to scout that very quickly. He's going to see the Zerglings pop. He realizes that the hatchery is actually making a queen. And Lucera is going to be able to defend this pretty easily, I do think. You know, he yeah, did not so. go hatch first. And that's kind of the prerequisite for not taking too much damage from this rush. <clears throat> it's a long map. Zergling's going to take a while to get down there. Yeah, I don't know if this is the best map to do a 10 pull on. Well, that's why Jalizerg does it. <laughs> because because it's a higher chance of like a uh, hatchery. Yeah, exactly. July Zerg is, he plays the odds, man. He knows that his style will never win every game. It just won't happen. You know, some people play a style that they're trying to win every single game. July Zerg, hells no. Yeah, he's a risk taker. He right, here we go. Is he going to lose any drones? He plays extreme Zerg. So extreme, he does it with Mountain Dew in his hand. Ah, exactly. And, well, yeah, that's just, nothing's going to happen with these lings, yep. July. Sorry, buddy. This is just... Zero impact here. Look at the automaton. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it like wants to be one of the Zerglings, but it doesn't have any way to attack. It only has 10 hit points. Okay. He is now going to set up his expansion hatchery. And Lucira looks like he's in pretty good shape. July making a lot more Zerglings right now. Getting speed as well. I think he may just go ahead into a Baneling, Speedling style play. Looks like uh, Luceria is going to get a glimpse of whether or not Jalizer expanded or not. And when he sees that, it's going to be pretty clear that Jalizer is not invested into a long game. Yeah, July's going Zergling Baneling all in here. So, Lucera, will you make a Roach Warren? Or won't you make a Roach Warren? That's the question, Tasteless. Yeah. Or even, you know, a Baneling Nest, you can also micro against this and be successful. But if you have just lings, it's going to be pretty difficult, I have to say. And a Baneling Nest is going up. It's a little bit later, but I don't think July is going to move out to the speed anyways. So 
Uh, he should have that in time. Okay, here come the Zerglings now, moving out. And this is going to be interesting. The hatchery is going to complete. He should be able to take out the hatchery really easily. Yeah, do you think he's just going to sack the hatchery? Yeah, I think so. There's there's not much that he can actually do about but don't it. You, he, if, when you why see that many Zerglings? This? Well, you know, that's a very good question. I just see, like, he had an opportunity to cancel it, and he didn't. And... This is like how Lucero roll. Lucero like does it, man. He like has to lose at least one hatchery every game. Yeah, that's very true. All right, so July Zerg. You see the queen ran back to middle Arvin, checking them went over there. Oh, oh, nice. That's the uh, best use of broodlings I've ever seen from a destroyed building. You know what's kind of weird here? July Zerg just killed a hatchery. He made a ton of lings and stuff, so. He is behind on drones, but he could have decided to drone up, or he could have decided to keep attacking, and of course he's July Zerg, man. He decided to keep attacking. Oh, my. All right, here we go. Watch this. You can slip one bailing through. You move a queen back. Oh, oh that was so good. One queen does go down, but I don't think the uh, I think it's now over for July Zerg. You know, if Lucera had had one bailing closer to the queens, what you do is you stand one behind the queens, and you pull one back when they start attacking with mass Zerglings, and then everything explodes, and you giggle because your opponent's all in you, and you know how to do that. Lucera, though, he he just had his Banelings just slightly too far back, you know, pressure of the moment. And Jelizer's just going to stick to it. I don't think it's going to work, but we'll see. Yeah, he's he is actually making a Roach War now, too, realizing that he can't stay Ling Bane forever. And uh-oh! Oh! Wow, Lucera, I cannot believe you did that all in a straight line. I am line. so shocked by that right there. And Kids these days with their ZVZ tasteless. I don't know what's going on. I need that to was insane. Surf. That was like that was like the most terrible idea ever. <laughs> <laughs> it really was. Like, let me put these all in the most close line I can get them going up a ramp against someone who has Baneling tech. It's a great idea. That one's uh, Baneling still around. Whoa, that was close. He actually hit the detonation button there. July Zerg's supply right now is 24 against the 42 palindromes here going on almost. Lizard taking an expand. Lucere's is quicker though. Give you some stats: 25 drones for Lucere, 15 for Jelizer, 15 Zerglings for Lucere, 11 for Jelizer, three Banelings for Lucere, one for Jelizer, two Queens for Lucere, one for Jelizer. Oh my God, he's denying all those Banelings as well, and he's he's ahead in every single way. And in fact, Jelizer supply blocked for the time oh. being. Uh, now we have him moving up again. Roaches are, of course, very good against Banelings and Zerglings. That's a good thing he got out some roaches, or this could have been pretty deadly. Roach is trying to target down the Bane. He trying wants to that Baneling to try to hit the uh, Zerglings. And the Baneling does get taken out. We have a Roach one going up for Lucera. Of course, he has way more drones, even as a spine crawler to slow down any aggression. And all the Banelings of Lucera actually going off on some roaches, really not doing any damage. This is this is actually, a sloppy game. This is one of the most sloppy. I, I, because these two are two of the best Zergs in the entire world, and uh, I mean, it's it's quite public that July Zerg CVZ is not really the greatest thing in the entire universe. Uh, it's way behind his other matchups, at least. Uh, but this is, I'm like <clears throat> astounded at what we're actually watching here. This is yeah, just so I'm, sloppy. I'm in the same boat. I'm kind of uh, a bit shocked here to see that they are both making this many mistakes. This is like... And uh, I know that there are other commentators out there who will lie to you guys, but we're not two of them. <laughs> Sorry. This is a uh, this is a very shocking game from these two. Yeah. yeah. This is like... I don't know, man. I've seen like four or five like major mistakes from Nesty both players. Nesty has in already won this game like eight times from either side. <laughs> um, um, well, moving the... Uh, uh, spine crawlers, excuse me, out. Yeah. July Zerg just rallying in Zerglings. He is going all in from here. But Lucera has some roaches. He's making more. He has he some going to counterattack here. Ooh. Well, he doesn't even need to do that. Yeah, actually, it'd be better for him to have those units at home. But this will guarantee him victory if he holds this. Yep. Very nice. Going to take out at least a few drones here. And every drone does count in ZVZ. The roach is now deflected. Yeah, July wow. Zerg. So many weak drones here. Well, July Zerg right now is at 37 supply against 68. Oh, only and six in the main. Here we go. July Zerg just not being able to do very much. And yeah, this is this, this is pretty should over. Be GG here. 40 supply up, over twice the supply of his opponent. Lucira has crushed July Zerg here. Wow. All right. This 
Too many roaches. One Baneling is going to be edged in here. GG. Well, uh, you know, I, July Zerg, unfortunately, will uh, not advance around 16, but Lucero will. Lucero, very strong Zerg. I'm excited to see him go up. Yeah, he's very scary. He's one of our only non Terrans up there right now. Um, July Zerg, though, he actually needs. I, oh, now, that's right. He needs to figure out ZBZ, man. Like, he, the thing is, the fact that he has said previously, I don't know, I haven't talked to him about it lately, but he said previously that ZBZ is really good. Uh, but it's always kind of looked like this, very all inny. And I it's feel like, like there's no investment either, into the late game. Yeah, he's either playing the ladder and just beating people because he's Jalizer, he's a thousand times better than them, or he's <clears throat> practicing with people so far below him. But, I mean, I swear to God, if Jalizer just sat down with Nest T and, like, played for a whole day, like 60 games, then I think he would suddenly have this epiphany that, oh my god, I actually am bad at ZVZ. Yep. And if he could fix that, because look at this, he just got eliminated on a ZVZ. It's like, Jalizer, well, you're actually, your other matchups are so good, like you should be getting far every season. It's so weird because every game we see of Jalizer, whenever I'm casting it with you, there's always this moment where I'm like, oh, he's just making all the wings and roaches. and he's Oh, just, he's going all in. He's going all in, and it's, it's not even been 10 minutes. I mean, we're it's like sometimes you just need to... Be patient. You need to invest into a long game, mm -hmm. a game where um, you know you're well, waiting ZBZ. for your opponent to make a mistake or attack you. You don't always have to be the one that's going to pull the trigger. And I don't know why he's done the it. Thing is, so many times he loves to pull the trigger. Though he he has some time every game where he just flips the switch in his head, goes crazy, and tries to kill you. And I mean that kind of works for him in the other two matchups. But in a mirror matchup, it's like well he has the exact same stuff as you. This is a matchup where you want to like chip away at um. It's these small little yeah, victories yeah. then lead to a big victory in a mirror matchup like Zerg versus Zerg. It's not a moment where he's like and kill. Uh, all right, so here are the results. July Zerg. If you guys only watch Code S, you'll see him again next season. Hongun, if you're a fan of him, well, you better keep your fingers crossed for him in the up and down matches. And frankly, I think he's going to have a tough time there. I yeah, can see him I, going down to Code A. I completely do see that in his future. Gonzi and Lucira advance to the round of 16 as they continue their journey on to attempt to become GSL Code S champions. That is correct, Tasteless. Another Terran into the round of 16. Yep. <clears throat> Terrans, Terrans everywhere. Well, Not we're going to have uh, one more group here today. We are. Has two Terrans in it. Should be pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to casting that for you guys here today. I know a lot of you guys are rooting for Zergs and Protosses to get a little bit further in this tournament, since right now it has been so Terran dominant. Artosis. Yes. Are you ready for the next group? I'm ready, man. I think we got to cut to a commercial I so that they can ready. set up. I came out of the, came out of my mom. Doctor said, "Are you ready?" I said, "Yeah, of course," because wow. I already know how to speak. Well, I was born in a laboratory. Yeah, I was actually just hiding in a cave for all eternity until StarCraft was going to be released. And then I came out and started aging like a normal human. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's how warlocks do it, man. You're a warlock. What do you want? What do you want me to say? I really want to see you in a cape. With, like, the pointy things and a goatee. Well, I wear a cape every day, but normally I'm at home naked with a cape on. Well, that's how warlocks do it, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> all right, we'll be We're right back shame. here. We're not shy. After a five-minute break, so stay tuned for the second half of the code S here in GSL.